Hello everyone, welcome to Fun with Doing Engineering. Our entire world has become digital today. Everything consists of zeros and ones. Television, computer, internet, everything works with bits. That is zeros and ones, as you can see here. It is said that with bits you can supposedly do everything you like. We would like to try that out today. First, we can for example try to order a drink with bits. We have here a drink menu and by holding up zero or one I can order either of the two different drinks. So I will try that with coffee. Waiter! Here it is sir, enjoy. Wow, that worked pretty well. Now we can see that this card option is very small. A little more choice would be very nice. So we can for example work with two bits. And this doubles the number of choices already. Also, we can add another bit. And then again, we have twice as many possibilities. So basically, we can say from the picture that with every addition of a bit, we can double the number of options. As we have done with this menu card, we can use the same method to specify any other thing. For example, the points of a compass. Let's imagine we are downtown in our beautiful old city of Freiburg. We are the donut star. And we want to specify the compass direction, that is the azimuth of the Petri Tower. We can imagine such a ring around the donut's tower, divided into four sectors. By using two bits, we can provide different names for the different sectors. We can now look from the donut's tower in the direction of the Petri Tower. So for this example, we can say the Petri Tower lies in the sector 01. So we have represented the azimuth of the Petri Tower as a digital code. But this sector is too big, it contains almost the entire tower of Freiburg. So we have to specify the azimuth a bit more precisely. Since two bits are not enough, let's divide each piece of the cake into two halves. Now we have three bits to give each piece a different name. And we see that the specification of the azimuth has become more precise. So we'll continue splitting the cake more and more by using different bits until we finally have six bits per piece. This results in a total number of 64 cake pieces. So we have a pretty precise location of the direction of the Petri Tower. We can now say from the Donuts Tower, the Petri Tower is located in the direction uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. Looking from the Donuts Tower, it would look like this. Just as we have shown with the compass direction, the azimuth by using bits. We can do the same for all our measurements and readings from the borehole. We can represent them all by 0 and 1. The more precisely we specify a value, the more zero and one we use. So if we want to transmit many measured values with high accuracy, we have to handle long strings of zeros and ones. How these zero and ones are transmitted from the bottom of the borehole up to the surface, we will explain more about this in our lecture, Drilling Engineering 2, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you here. Look off.